Welcome back to Extended Play at Shiny Entertainment in Laguna Beach, California. You know that we at Extended Play love to bring you the latest gaming peripherals and accessories. So now, let's take a look at... The Claw! Ah! If you're in a late night frag fest, then you probably have some experience with really sore wrists and arms the next day, especially on your keyboard hand. Now though, there's some help for you in the form of... The Claw. Now the Claw is a new first person shooter peripheral that actually replaces the keyboard when you're playing the game and plugs right into the keyboard port on your computer. All you have to do is program it. Now there's no software required so the way you do that is actually to hit a button on the Claw and then the corresponding button on the keyboard. That's it, you're done. Then you can just relax your hand here and it does hold a lot of different size hands. It's very comfortable and you're set. So we thought it would be nice to just help you relieve a little bit of stress. I mean, we figure in the middle of a death match, you're stressed enough. By the way, if you have the claw at home and it works well for you, drop us an email and let us know. If you're feeling nostalgic, sometimes curling up on a comfy couch and watching an old movie is a great thing to do. If you're feeling nostalgic in a gamer kind of way, bust out some popcorn and watch this intro to Gradius 3 and 4. Sometimes those memories of the golden era of gaming can make me feel a little old. NBA Live 2001 from EA Sports is a fantastic looking basketball game for the PS2. Though if you've tried to play it, you probably found out it's a little bit difficult to master. So for some advice, we decided to go directly to the source. Anton Jameson of the Golden State Warriors is both a mega superstar and an avid gamer. So with this advice, hopefully you'll end up with nothing but net. <laughs> 2001 Live is the latest and greatest NBA PlayStation 2 game to hit the scene. But for those of us who know close to nil about the strategies of basketball, the game can get a little tricky. Figuring out how to maximize your control buttons, pick the correct defense, execute offensive plays, heck, just keeping the ball in bounds. That's why the hard-working crew here at Extended Play decided to head over to the Oakland Arena to get the opinions of a professional basketball video gaming expert. This is what we do, we play video games all day. Yes, it's the big man himself, star and captain of the Golden State Warriors, Anton Jameson. Now the key to the game, when you're playing, you need to choose the Golden State Warriors. And uh, your number one option should be myself. Now, I ain't trying to brag, but I've been doing this for a long time. I like to put points on the board. I don't like to sit back and, you know, I like to get up, trap, make them shoot quick shots, make them turn over the ball and things like that, and, they, and then get the ball offensively to myself and you know Larry Hughes and guys like that. If you have a good post-up guy, you want to give it to the post. If you have a guy who can shoot threes, you want to try to give it to the guy who can shoot the ball. And if you got a good point guard like Jason Kidd or Gary Payton. I like Kevin Garnett because, you know, he's on the, the cover of the game, so you know they're going to make him better than everybody else. And it's very realistic. And, you know, it's just like playing a basketball game. I mean, you just can't come up there and shoot shots and expect to win. I mean, you have to know who uh, who to give the ball to, when to take the shots. Dude, you got Shaq shooting at almost three point. He doesn't know the games. Down the post. Nothing. Else. You got to play team defense. I mean, it's the NBA. You can't play one on one. You'll get blown out very quickly. Turbo make it quick. Turbo blast. You have my quickness out there on the court. Press the O button to shoot, the X to pass. Then the main important part about shooting free throws is to get the ball right in the middle of the box. And when you do that, you, know, you should win a lot of basketball games. I just won a game. I beat the Lakers. That's, that's realistic. That's what's going to happen again this year, I hope. 
for another look at Anton Jamison's strategy guide, come on out to our website, insideoftechtv.com. And if you have any questions on NBA Live 2001 or any other game, make sure you come to our chats Mondays at 6 p.m. Eastern. We'd like to give a great big thank you to David Perry and the rest of Shiny Entertainment for so graciously hosting us here today. Well, that about does it for this episode of Extended Play. So, until next time, game, game over. over. Scott, I told you they didn't want you on the show. Get back to work. Oh, hey, Scott. Hey, Scott.